One way to go online is to click the Accessible Nodes button. If your project window is full size, as this one is, it is not apparent that you just opened a second window. If you click the Restore Down button, you will see that a second online window opened in addition to your project window. Drop down to the Blocks folder. By default, the Blocks window shows small icons. If you click the Details button, you will see each block's details. Let's open the online block FC14. Because you have opened the online version of the block, you will see a message telling you there are no local variable names, and no symbol names are available because they are not stored in the PLC either. I'm going to let you in on a little known secret. If you click the error tab, you will see that you got to this block through accessible nodes, and the word online here means this is the actual online block in the PLC. Let's add a normally open contact. We will add the address M200.0, which is just a random choice for demonstration. If you were to download this block, you would now have a difference in the online and offline blocks. When you close this window, it would be important to save this change so the online and offline blocks would match. Since we did not download this block, we won't save the changes. Let's close the online window. Here's a second way to go online from your project. In Somatic Manager, in the Offline Project, select the Blocks folder. Click the Online button. Now you're online directly with the Blocks folder. Also note that a second online window opened again. Now we'll close this window. Let's open a block in the Offline Project. We'll choose FC14. Let's turn the monitoring glasses on to monitor the block. Take a look at the Error tab again. Notice that even though the block is being monitored and the title says Online, the block that you have opened is the offline block from your project. Here is a third way to go online with your project. Click the Online Offline toggle button. You will get a message asking you if you want to close the block you have opened and open its partner. This means if you're in the online block, it will open the offline block, and if you're on the offline block, it will open the online block. Click Yes. If you look back at the Error tab, you will see that now we are on the online block of the PLC. Let's add another normally open contact. We will add input 1.0. We will download this block. Now the block online in the PLC is different than the block offline in the project. We'll close this window. Click Yes to save changes to this block, and Yes to the overwrite message. And now the online and offline blocks match. Here's a fourth place in your project from which you may want to go online. Highlight your station, and double-click the hardware. Click the Online button. You can now see an online view of the hardware configuration. A great place to do some troubleshooting and diagnostics, and we'll show you how to do these in some other videos.